What should we do this weekend? It's always a big question, and we have some great ideas for you and your family. With Seattle's Child Magazine, Erica Bigelow joining us now with some really fun details. Hi, Erica. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we heard of a place where you can go to learn about the salmon, maybe even get a chance to see them migrate. Yes, absolutely. So Seattle Aquarium natural naturalists will be at the Ballard Locks Salmon Fish Ladders this weekend to help you spot some, uh, spawning salmon and learn about how we can help them. And we are lucky to host one of the few wildlife migrations that run through the heart of an urban watershed here in Seattle. The Lake Washington Cedar Sammamish Watershed supports a threatened run of Chinook as well as sockeye and coho salmon. And from May to September, adult salmon pass through the Ballard Locks on the final leg of their epic journey to the rivers and streams. And they are swimming right now. I was just there. There are these huge salmon going through. It's really impressive. Um, so you want to be sure to head over there and, and you can learn all about them from the Seattle Aquarium Naturalist who will be there. This event is happening between 11 and 3. It's free. And if you time this well, there are free concerts at the locks at 2 o'clock. And so you can go see your salmon and then you can enjoy some music and it's a wonderful day. Oh, that is such a great tip. That's awesome. Okay, how about a way we can hop on a little mini train? Yes, you can head on up to beautiful historic Skykomish for a day of family fun. There you'll be able to hop aboard one of the great Northern Cascade scale mini trains and enjoy a train ride for the whole family. So these are a, a, a big train, but at scale, they're really cute. In fact, you can ride them as many times as you like. The drive is beautiful. The trains are amazing. They have a fantastic museum as well. And Skykomish is a, just a little jewel of a town right before Stevens Pass off Highway 2. There, this event's happening both days this weekend 10 a.m. to 4 and uh, it's free so fun to do fun that, little adventure that is sweet everybody should get out there okay we are getting ready to close out all the fun of summer and get back to school but we heard that there's a party that's celebrating both Absolutely. It is hard to believe that it is almost time to head back to school, but you can finish off the summer right at Tequila Park and Recreation's Back to School Beach Bash that's happening today at the Joseph Foster Memorial Park. It's all day from 11 to 6. There's going to be beach volleyball, sandcastle building. They'll have some inflatables and pickleball and dancing. They'll have yard games and water play and a lot more. And then you'll also get to enjoy music all day long. Steel drum music, time machine radio, and island bound will be playing, plus cold treats to to help you beat the heat and just kind of a good way to you know finish wrap up that summer okay you're also telling us about a way to learn and celebrate the history of tibet yes seattle center festal presents tibet fest this weekend in partnership with the tibetan association of washington and the festival showcases traditional and contemporary tibetan art music and dance and you can come celebrate with the tibetan community as it embraces its identity and seeks to preserve its traditions culture and religion so there'll be in a uh, tibetan food booth there'll be a himalayan bazaar a photography exhibition a documentary film screening and more and this is all day both days at the seattle center armory and it's free okay we also heard of a place where we can enter a world where we can watch a girl become a heroine tell us about this one <laughs> Yes, I love what you did there. Um, you can pack up your picnic blanket and snacks and you can head to the Bellevue Youth Theater Amphitheater today and McCormick Park in Duval tomorrow to see the play Rapunzel in the park for free. So Storybook Street Theater is just this wonderful group. They're presenting this classic tale with a twist. And neither long locks of hair nor large locks on towers are enough to keep this rainbow haired maiden from trying to follow her dreams. So the question is, can she escape from her tiny room with a view or will her long locks be forever locked in her tower? They've got original songs and original lyrics and just a, a fun little twist and you're gonna have to come find out for yourself the uh, fate of the heroine. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Erica, thank you for such a great list. Absolutely, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, you too. We have a link up on our website in case you want to get more information about any of those events. That's all at fox13seattle.com.